Hey, what's up? My name is Daniela and welcome to a new video. So today I'm here to talk about my Contemporary Thon Round 6 TBR. Contemporary Thon is a week-long readathon and this round is happening from the 10th of February until the 16th of February. As the title suggests, this readathon is all about reading contemporary books and it's hosted by three people, Chelsea from Chelsea Rolling Reads, Julie from Pages and Pens and Natasha from My Reading is Odd and I will leave their announcement videos in the description. We have seven challenges, so the first one is read a contemporary with green on the cover, then we have read a contemporary from a new two author, read a diverse contemporary, read a backlist contemporary, that means something that has been on your TBR for over a year, read a dark or hard-hitting contemporary, contemporary with an illustrated cover, and finally read a contemporary book that is beloved by a member of the community and shout out the creator. So you can double up on the challenges, but I've decided that I want to go all in and I will attempt to read seven books during the contemporary thon week, one for each prompt. But yeah, without further ado, let's look at the books on my TBR. So the first book on my TBR is Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. So this is an adult contemporary about a fat, black, chronically ill woman and one day she decides that she wants to get a life and she writes down a list of things she wants to do and one of the items is to do something bad but as she finds out it's not that easy so she recruits a bad boy for this mission and they get close and then they realize that not everything is how it seems etc so I've been hearing so many great things about this book and I'm really excited to read it. I'm going to be listening to it on audio probably, so yeah, very much looking forward to it. This book could fit several of the prompts, but I'm using it specifically for the diverse read prompt because in February it's also Blackathon and it's Black History Month. And one of my reading intentions for this year is to read more diverse books, so I try to include as many books by black authors as I could and obviously I will try to keep this up <laughs> during the whole year. The second book on my TBR is The Right Swipe by Alicia Ray and this again is an adult contemporary about a woman called Rhiannon and she's a creator of this dating app but in real life she's kind of cynical about love and she kind of tries to protect her heart and not let anyone too close but then she matches with the guy she really likes but after one night together he disappears so she swears that she's not going to forgive him and all of that but then they meet again and I guess she might reconsider. This sounds awesome, I love books dealing with online communication, online businesses and stuff like that and again I've heard very good things about it so yeah I'm using it for the prompt to read a book with an illustrated cover. I think it is a big trend right now and I really like it much better than covers with actual faces on them. So I really hope this book will be right swipe for me. No? Okay. Next we have The Hating Game by Sally Thorne and this is another adult contemporary. It is an office romance and all I know about it is that it's about two colleagues who compete for the same promotion and they hate each other so it's hate love romance. It's been on my TBR for a while so I'm using this for the prompt to read a backlist contemporary. Then I have a book that I'm very hyped to read and that's Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. So this is a young adult contemporary and it is a graphic novel about two boys who become friends and probably something more. People have been raving about it and I can't wait to read it and I'm using this for the prompt to read a book with green on the cover because there is a lot of green. Next I have a book that came out only a couple of weeks ago and that is Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. So this is a young adult contemporary about a boy and a girl who are in charge of their family business's Twitter accounts and they engage in some sort of a Twitter war but they don't know who the other person is in real life and again it sounds amazing because online communication and Twitter, all of that. I've heard nothing but good things about this one and I don't buy new releases that often but from the time I heard about this for the first time I knew that I just had to get it because I think I'm going to love it. I also want to read Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. So this will be a reread. This is one of my favorite books and I can't wait to reread it and experience the story again. This is an adult contemporary about a woman called Eleanor and Eleanor lives alone, she doesn't have any friends and 
people usually think that she's kind of weird because she doesn't always conform to the social expectations and norms and although she tells herself that she is completely fine she is quite unhappy one day when she is leaving her work she witnesses an old man having an accident and this brings her closer to a co-worker because he is also there and basically now she has some places to go to and people who actually want to see her and she becomes friends with this man. Eleanor has been through a childhood trauma and we don't know what it is but it's kind of an underlying theme and as the story goes on Eleanor realizes that she has to start to work through her trauma and come to terms with it because she just can't hide from her past forever. I'm using this book for the heart-hitting prompt because there are these darker themes but it's also a hilarious book because Eleanor is such a unique and quirky character and she questions all of these social norms and yeah it's really entertaining as well. And the last book on my TBR is American Dreamer by Adriana Herrera. This is an adult contemporary about a man who has a Afro-Caribbean food truck and he's moving it from New York City to upstate New York and he's trying to make it there so he doesn't need any distractions. One day a man comes to his food truck and they start flirting so this is a male male romance and yeah it sounds awesome because a food truck. I love food and I expect that this book will make me hungry and also I really like the theme of a small business owner trying to make it. I came across this book because I needed a book for the prompt of reading a book that is beloved by a member of the community so I asked you on Twitter and Instagram for your recommendations. I could have used other books for my TBR for this prompt because for example Chelsea raves about the hating game and tweet cute and then we also have Sarah from Sarah the Dreamer whose life mission is to persuade everyone to read Heartstopper but I wanted to find something new. So American Dreamer was recommended to me on Twitter by Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe, so all of these people will be linked in the description, so definitely go and check out their channels. So these are all the books on my contemporary -thon TBR. It's really ambitious for me to try to read seven books in a week because, for example, in January I read eight books during the whole month, so yeah, it's a lot. But I can't wait to participate in this amazing event and knocking off as many of these books of my TBR as possible. Let me know in the comments if you're participating in the Contemporary Thon and what books are on your high priority TBR. But yeah, that is all for this video. If you want to follow me elsewhere, I have links to my Goodreads, Bookstagram and Twitter in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!